Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day here. I'm of course Mr. Mokolover. Hey our Mokolover, and we're going to continue playing as Austria-Hungary as we try to increase our production this episode. And so I've been I've been looking at this for about like two minutes max, and I'm thinking, you know what? We beat Serbia, those damn Serbs. We're trying to get rid of these little guys down here. They have a ton of divisions. Holy crap! But uh, our Italian front, if Italy does go to war with us, looks fairly okay for now. The front between Germany and France also looks pretty good, but the front against Russia and Germany is questionable. Now, we will definitely want to increase our production to put more soldiers on the front with the Russians and their terrible people, but we also have to prepare for the future. For Greece, does not really like us. Oh, maybe they do. Eh, not really too much. They're kind of in between. They don't really care, but because we don't know how they feel about us, we may need to prepare against them. Maybe the same thing with Albania as well. You never know. Bulgaria, though, they do kind of like us a tad, tad bit. So, with that in mind, uh, but that's not the only place. You have to do on some of their territory right now, just because I took out Serbia. But, Romania is a very negative country towards us. Very, very negative. They're, of course, led by, led by Ferdinand the First. They really don't like us, and you know what? We really don't like them. We could give them Bukovina, in which we would lose just a little bit of manpower, I think. Yeah, half, what, half a million? Half a million manpower in a factory. That's nothing. But we may end up going to war with them. So that's why I really want to focus this time on more production. I should have added more units here, to be honest with you guys. I'm not really sure why I made so many different things here, but whatever. It's two different Strasstruppen uh, lines. Yeah, they're lines. So basically now I'm just going to really focus on pr tons and tons of production. I don't want to lower this. We still need horse-drawn vehicles. We still could use a few more planes. So, so right now what we are going to personally do, I, I am going to personally do, I don't know how I just was able to see that, that they had 18 divisions. But now we can't see them, but we can see them still here regardless. But... Of course, we're going to keep making more things, and of course, make more trenches, just in case the Italians attack. But we're going to finish the Balkans up at the moment, because this extra army that's down here, they will garrison against Greece, just in case. But you know, another army to garrison against Romania, and then every, anyone else who is left alive will garrison against the Russians. It looks like they just took a piece of territory back. Oh, they have an open hole here, and the Germans are trying to flood into there, try to stop the influx of Russians. I can't really help them. I'm a little busy down here, but that's all right. That is quite okay. Now, we're not really winning, but our goal is just to knock out all of their organization, because if we do that, they will literally just die off. And I'm very, like I said last time, surprised that we didn't find any convoys, but we found some convoys now. <gasps> we found six boys, six British boys in the water. You know what to do with them. Please, please just kill them. Uh, Russia, please don't expand too far. Oh, they did take a piece of German territory. That is not good, but they have... The Germans have closed the gap, which is pretty good, but Germany, please, please stop attacking. This is suicidal. Ah, I gotta love the AI. And for the person who commented yesterday, sorry if I have a stuffy nose, my makes my voice sound a little different. But for the person that commented yesterday saying, hey, you know, if you did the trialism uh, event focus to get that national focus, you could have instead... Uh, not had Franz Ferdinand get assassinated. That's quite interesting. I did not know that, but I kind of wanted to play a pretty railroady World War One mod, so that's why I just kind of went with, you know, that's okay. That's totally okay. If we'll go, we're going to annex Bosnia and Herzegovina, and give me just one moment here as we kind of watch this battle unfold as we are still losing the attack, but winning on the defense as I go blow my nose. Alright. Hmm. My bad, guys. My bad. Ooh, auto saving. I love it when it auto saves. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh no! Russia has called the Kingdom of Italy as our enemy. Oh no. Well then, uh, how many ships does Italy have? That's a lot of ships, so I'm gonna tell you boys, uh, just go on home. I don't have a hundred ships, so. Good luck. 
Please don't try to kill me. Could I potentially try to bait the AI to attack me somewhere like here? What if I told you to go like here? Could you? Oh, and then you you don't move either. No, they don't want to ba get baited. All right. Well, I'm glad I'm making trenches as well as some forts. How is this attack going? It's still not going super great, but you guys will attack as well. Oh, right. So other than that, I think we're doing okay. Please, Germany, stop attacking. Especially over a river. Please. Alright, so that didn't really do very much. We'll see what the Italians do. With forts and trenches along this line, I'm fairly confident in what we can do. But, of course, we'll need more factories. Serbia, I don't want to put anything there. I don't want to lose Bukovina. Ah, uh, Bosnia seems like the best next location. Oh, we actually are winning this battle now. Wow. Could we potentially make this a little better? Oh, their divisions look like they are dying. Oh, uh, but we have been found out by the Italian Navy. Baby, where are you going? I just want to love you. I have big cannons that I want to share my love with. Actually, we have 15 types of battleships, and they have 12, which is good. Oh, sunk a destroyer already. Nice. They have a armored cruiser, heavy cruiser. We have three. They have 17 light cruisers, but we only have 13. We have 33 destroyers to their eight. They have five subs, and we have six. I like these odds. Just don't let the Italians add any more to them. Nice. Keep seeking those those destroyers. Oh, early support weapons. Very good. Very, very good. Let's see. 1914. All infantry get a better recovery rate. Yeah, I like that. Please, Italians. If we can, like, knock out the Italian Navy, like a massive portion of the Italian Navy, I might be more inclined to use my uh, ships in the future. Looks like we're winning here, which is awesome. Uh, it looks like they're still attacking on that front. Yeah, we've just... I don't have enough soldiers to really want to attack very much, so... Gotta play smart. Uh-oh! We lost three ships! A light uh, protected cruiser at two destroyers. Oh, we're losing a few more... No, we're losing a few more destroyers. Oh, they have 16... Oh, 16 battleships. Oh, that's not good. I think they might have added more ships in. Well, as long as... If we lose stuff, please make it so that we lose the worst stuff. Oh, destroyer. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we suck a battleship. That's good. Now, we're even on battleships. No, we're not. We just want a few more. Man, this is taking forever. Uh, horses? Go right on in. Do you have any upgrades, sir? Oh, did you see that? Did you just see that? We actually did it here. Those absolute mad lads actually did it. Uh, do this. But you can do the coast for now. D or don't do the coast. Okay, so, Montenegro is done, the Balkans are secured at the moment, we get a little bit of equipment, which is actually extremely useful right now. With that in mind, you guys are doing pretty well, U24 with guys, uh, I don't really trust Albania that much, I'm not sure if they do, will go to war with us, I really doubt it, but it'll help spread my soldiers out so they don't get so much attrition. Now, I do have extra cavalry here, and actually I want you down by Romania. Just in case we need to deploy soldiers there, as well as they can reinforce the Russian front. Just in case. Now, the horses here... Oh, where would I put the horses? The Russians are attacking, which is good and bad. I kind of want to really help these guys out. They might get more experience. So, let's, let's take half. I don't want to use, like, ten divisions here. That would just not be very smart of me. Ooh, good enough. We'll make sure that's 24 with before we do any other army. Good. So we've lost 13 ships so far, but we sunk quite a few of the Italian ships, which is awesome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Their next battleship is trying to retreat, but please, murder them. All right, that's good. The Italian front, of course, nothing's really going on, but they are st stationing more soldiers with a lot of British boys down there, too. So I guess, realistically, here's our game plan. Actually, I'm going to put you, uh, we're going to call you this the Romanian front. Romanian, just in case. But, our best bet of winning this war, in all honesty, is to try to defeat the Russians first. That is realistically the best thing that we can do. I guess to take out the Romanians, which would extend the Russian front, but trying to attack through France, through these 16, 20, 10 with 
10 you know divisions per province and i'm not saying these guys don't because obviously we have 12 right here eight right here but it just with so many german soldiers on the side and the sheer land mass over here the divisions are much more concentrated in our western front than the eastern front so that is just my plan for what will happen and 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 what operations we will conduct oh man we've lost quite a few ships we've lost 15 hopefully we lost the worst 15 ships out of the entire fleet don't let them escape don't let them escape they want to attack no 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 yeah oh yep yeah, those guys are mostly gone Okay, so here are the battle results of that battle. So, we lost 13 ships in total. Most of them were, or at least half of them, were protected cruisers, which sound not very good, which is okay. And we lost 7 destroyers, which 4 were level 3, and 3 were level 1. So, but the Italian losses were absolutely devastating. So, we sunk 11 battleships of different types. We sunk 18 uh, protected cruisers, pretty good. Some 12 destroyers, armored cruiser, and 5 subs. Absolutely disgusting. But I really want you guys to go home and repair. Yeah, they, they are trying to get to home. Alright, cool. So, and apparently we are getting navally invaded somewhere. So with that in mind, actually I'm going to use the, the other half of my cavalry to personally station them on the coast just in case. So we have 5 divisions going to the German front with the French and the Belgians, while the other 5 divisions are going to try to you know, close up any holes we have here. It's good. So you are now level 5, Miklos Horthy. Very good. Uh, and you might get some more traits. Oh, 6 sunk, 9 sunk, 3 sunk, 2 sunk, 2 sunk. Good. We got quite a few battleships, but of course we can use more. We only have 23 destroyers. I'm going to need more destroyers. Hmm. Good. So how many ships does... Italy now have that we can estimate. Less than 100. That's good. But we only have 54, which isn't very good. Improved infantry equipment. Uh, let's get early motorized next. That sounds like a good thing to have. Instead of using just horses, if we can replace with horses, because it takes time to grow horses. And by grow horses, I mean raise horses. Yeah, you don't grow horses. Do you? That'd be weird. Well, but you and you. Let's delete this. Let's make this a little more concentrated in Luxembourg or Letzeberg. Be good. Good. So the Russians aren't really attacking, which I'm kind of surprised. Come on, Russia. You got so many boys at home. Then again, I did take a look at the end of this last episode, the end of last episode, and they are out of equipment, which is not good for them, but good for us. But we're also out of equipment and field guns just because we're trying to produce a lot of goods. Oof. We need a lot of guns, we need a lot of support equipment, and we need a lot of artillery. Are we. Oh. Mm, actually, I need more naval stuff to protect my coast. But I need more divisions, period, to help fight off the Russians. Uh, I'm not using that suit to roll. So be it. As we're continually building up more and more trenches. Now, obviously they have... Oh, they have level 2 land forts in the mountains. Yeah, that's always a great idea to attack. So I'm not going to attack them anytime soon. Wow, that's 15 divisions. And there's not even any Italians here. Oh, maybe there's one. Or maybe there's a few, but... <laughs> that was weird. Alright. Any upgrades? Anything we can do here? No? Alright. Anything here? Uh, the Ottoman Empire joins the Central Powers. Now, this is interesting. Germany and the Ottoman Empire have signed a vaguely close relationship since the end of the Napoleonic Wars, but in recent times, it seems that their bond has become unbreakable. The Ottoman Empire has formally joined the Central Powers. Great job, guys. Now, that'll open up the front against the Russians and the rest of the Middle East and Egypt, which is a terrible idea for them, but now you never know what might happen. Hopefully they can do some good. Which I really doubt it. Now, four divisions. Do you think I could actually strike in here with this many? Uh, let's actually leave one of these guys home. And then the rest of you guys will attack. Could we, using 8 plus 6 is 14 divisions, attack four Russian divisions? Is the number going up? It is slightly going up. We do not have air superiority, though, apparently. Which is not good. Oh, uh, uh, sure. Yeah, you can help. Good, we have seven. We will need quite a few more of these guys, eventually. Oh, let's see. Oh, we are in the battle, though, which is good. And that'll actually give my guy a little bit more training, a little more experience, as well as increase the experience of the cavalry as well. But they are getting beaten up. Holy cow. 
He's going to get a lot of experience, especially being an infantry leader and an organizer. Nice. Oh, field hospital too. It's very good. So, it's 1914. Near the end of 1914, I hopefully will... Hopefully. I'm hoping here. That we will have some sort of truce for Christmas because it's, you know, the Lord's Day. But you, ne you never know with your enemies. You never know. <clears throat> 14, oh, we need, we need to do the next Dreadnoughts. Torpedo boats. It's a Monarch class. Oh, what is this? 18 versus 705? Holy cow! 705 ships? What? What in the barnacles is this? That's so overpowered against 18? Jesus. Let us send my boys home. Oh, um, here goes a German convoy. Oh, here comes it's some Italian and Portuguese ships. Oh, the Italians are attacking. Uh-oh. But the Germans are here kind of to help reinforce, which is good. Oh, von Hutier. Oh, hello. So that'll give us some good uh, experience. Now, they do have a lot of soldiers. This is not very good for us. 25, 26. Uh, are you just in the water? Uh, please go home. Are, are you actually base or something? Are you repairing? This, is, this doesn't look good. Okay, so they are actually repairing from what this looks like. With 34 ships need to repair, each regain zero at each hour. Oh, that's great. Uh, to be done by 1915, so that'll take a while. Can I increase? Yeah, let's, let's, let's try to increase this as well. As long as we're going to win on the Italian front, and the Italians are led by Luigi Cadorna, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So, um, with that in mind... You know, I said Romania might not like us. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Ugh. They really don't like us. I don't mind giving them Bukovina. We could try it. You know, there's nothing... Oh, we could do this. But we could tr try. Oh, Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone. And yes, I did. I forgot to pause. Whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see. Not a faction, accepted the hunger offer. They decline, and people will be most displeased with them. So does that mean if they, if we give them Bukovina, and we ask them to come to war with us, and they say no, do they get a stability hit? That would be interesting. Maybe that will come to our advantage. So let's do this. Since I only lose, lose a military factory, and it's honestly not worth half a million people, since I already have more population anyways, let's see what happens. Ooh, we are still trying to get this province. My gosh. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, they're still holding on to Prussia, which is good. We're still getting attacked by Italians, which is still fine with me. Actually, my... Yeah, my Mountaineers are actually 40 with the divisions. That's interesting. Very interesting. Stolstruppen. We do have logistics companies, which I actually want to increase, just because I can see that right now we are not doing so well on our logistics. So to roll, just in case, we might want to beef up the infrastructure here, because we are suffering from a, some infrastructure no-goodiness. Yes, I just said no-goodiness. Alright, so far so good. We have two divisions, or I guess three divisions, on the Romanian front. We are having some civilians sabotage by the Serbian resistance. And we are winning the Battle of Luxembourg once again. Very good. What level are you? You are level three, which is good. Not, not too bad. Western Balkans, dangerous naval invasion. Oh, see, now that's why I put the horses here. We're getting invaded by a bunch of Brits, it looks like. Yeah, a bunch of Brits. And that's why I made these divisions, just in case. They're only 10. That's pretty impressive. They're only 10 width, but they do have recon and engineer companies. What do I need the most? Guns? I need guns. I just need guns. We need more cannons, of course. Or, I guess you call them artillery nowadays. As well as support equipment. Oh, shit. They landed eight divisions. Eight divisions. Uh, hold them in place, boys. Hold them in place. Uh, I'm going to need some more soldiers. Uh, you guys. Get up here. Try to block them. Oh, good. Good job, Germany. Try to block these guys off. They are starving from a lack of supplies, and attack is really not as good as defense. Oof. Uh, actually, stop them from moving. This will kill off a lot of, hopefully, British manpower. Actually, you can come down here. Go ahead and help them out. Uh, I need more divisions. You know what? I want to add, I, I know I got rid of two of these guys before, and I should not have done that. But, you know, they're coming back. And all they need are guns, really. And a little bit of support coming. Oh, we are losing a battle here? That's not good. Uh, you come down here. 
right? Italy. How many men have, has Italy lost? We've lost 80,000. The Germans have lost half a million already. The British have lost 165,000. The French, 86,000. Uh, the Belgians have lost 465 guys. The Russians, 139,000. And the Italians have not lost really much of anything. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I could use an army that's surrounding Greece. I might have to do that. With Conrad von Hutzendorf here. So you, go ahead and encircle these guys. Hopefully the Greeks won't attack or join the aunt aunt. I might have to funnel some soldiers this way as well. You guys are definitely getting some experience though. Holy crap. Yeah, eight divisions. I know we're attacking and all, but these guys are running literally out of supplies. Ah, right, here comes the boys. Here comes my boys. Oh, we're also getting attacked somewhere else. Oh, on split. Interesting. Oh, by the Portuguese. Good. They are trying to attack, which hopefully won't go very well for them. Just hold on to your butts, everyone. Hold on to those tukuses. Oh, we got a lot of this. Uh, what happens if we add women to the workforce? We get more population, but we get less stability. I'm okay with not using them yet. We don't really need them yet. I mean, I have a lot of population anyways. I know we're demobilizing, kind of, but whatever. Anything else here? I mean, I can still go with extensive conscription. Actually, that hurts me. Less factory output, less construction speed, and more training time. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Export. It doesn't really matter. We just get all the benefits of export focus. What would happen if we had to free trade? We lose a lot of resources. That probably wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else we could do. Cavalry, capital ship attacks. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty much done with political power. We get 1.47. I could change out more the political power person for someone else. Effective partisans on us actually would be pretty good. Air base, uh, naval base construction would be good. Uh, let's do that. Why not? Oh, they are, they are still desperately trying to attack. Constantly. Uh, Sierra's at war with us? Who the hell's our uh, CR? The Brits. Yeah, you can lose a lot of guys. Alright, so you guys are pretty good to go. We've already destroyed one division here, which is awesome. I think this other group help attack as well. Oop, our ships are looking better and better every day. I keep looking at them. 14 ships. So they'll be done by April. Oh, happy 1915. I didn't realize it, but happy 1915, everyone. You're having a great, great year. So yeah, well, I'm going to do something about these Serbian bastards. They keep ruining their own factories. Alright, come on, Brits. You're, you're going to die. You're definitely going to die there. Oh, we did take that territory, which is actually pretty cool. We actually took a little piece of territory. Now, with the Germans here, I might be able to strike there, so maybe somewhere else. Nine divisions. Nine kind of weaker divisions. I don't see a river either, but using six divisions, or I guess... Nine divisions to attack nine divisions isn't the greatest idea I've ever had. Seven. It looks like the Russians really don't have a lot of equipment. Because they almost they almost have enough, but it's never quite enough. Twelve attacking eight, but support with four and then another five. Let's try that. Oh, motorized ambulance. What is this? Oh, better recovery rate. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, let's get some better logistic companies as well. Oh, wait, it only goes down by two more percent? Oh, that sucks. I know we're attacking across the river, but this might be okay for us. So far, we're winning. We're winning on pretty much every front for us. <laughs> Maybe except for Luxembourg at the moment. Wow. Uh, German Zeppelin's campaign. It is highly unlikely that German troops will be able to breach the British mainland in the current situation. Or really, France. Or Belgium. Or Russia. But our Zeppelin bomber balloons brothers, because it's not us, we're not Germany, they will be able to strike at the heart of British industry from afar. Though they may send their pathetic little fighter planes to try and strike them down, it is unlikely they'll, they'll ever come close in altitude. This will show John Bull our might. And my gosh, how many times, oh, excuse me, are you going to try to take Luxembourg back? Ooh, my apologies. And we have only one division here left. Good job, guys. Wait, the Kingdom of Italy and the Ottomans signed a white peace? What? So, are you not at war with them anymore? Why did you... I'm not really understanding. But okay. 
Oh shit, they invaded. Oh, now they're back in. What's going on, guys? You okay? You okay? Uh, actually. Oh man, if I could get Bulgaria in the war with us, that could literally give us a direct connection to the Ottomans and I could help them out. Uh. Please join us. Is there any way for you to join us? Is it in one of my focuses? Posai? No. Recruitment propaganda. We could free Poland. Unify the realm. Yeah, there's nothing for me to ask Bulgaria to join us, which I would really like to see. How about you, Germany? Secret alliance with Romania? Please do that. Please, for the love of God. Berlin, Baghdad, Railway, Boer Revolt. Force Denmark to take position. Mein Kampf? No. Uh, Mein Kampf. I don't think we're going to really get to that this year. But friend Bulgaria. So it has to be after 1915. Okay, so the Ottomans will just have to suffer in silence from a lot of different attacks as that goes on. So, that mind, we have this extra army here. Oh, we are losing that battle. That's not good. There's eight divisions. Yeah, this battle's not going to go well for us. Let's go ahead and pause it. Yeah, just, I don't want to waste any lives that we don't really need to waste. Ooh, attack here. Go ahead and help them down here. Ooh, do you have anything... Oh, you, you can become adaptable. R terrain penalties reduction. Winter expert? Yeah, let's do adaptable. I like adaptable. That's, that's not a bad one. You guys. What if I took out Albania? How long would that take? Because this that way I could just own more of the coast. That would take quite a while. Hmm. I'm mean, going to do this extra army here. I could use them against the Russians. But I'm... I'm, I'm no. I know. <clears throat> Something bad will happen, and I have to have this army. Uh, you could become a guerrilla fighter. Hmm. hmm. I think for now, I'm just going to help guard some of the coast again and defend against the Greeks. Just in case, you never know. Uh, at, the mo at the moment, though, we have seven divisions on the Romanian front. Uh, Hejaz is our ally. All right. Oh my God, the Ottomans are just getting invaded all over the place. So bad for them. That's exactly what I did not want to happen. Hey, look what's going on down here. Uh, let's see, send one of you this way, and send one of you as well this way. And the province of Split is currently guarding all this, as they have seven divisions from our regular army there. Help defend. Good job, France. Hey, Jeremy, stop putting your boys in the water. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so they've, oh, they've lowered that. I'm really waiting for a massive Russian attack. Let's see, we got seven backup still. Alright, please. We'll just give Bukovina to Russia, or Romania, actually, which will help kind of close our front off with maybe a little bit to the Russians, just in case. Russia. A quarter million. Germany, stop losing you guys, please. France, a few guys. Russia's lost, not that many men. Hmm. And they're still... God, stop. Why do you want Luxembourg back so bad? You really are French, aren't you? You just keep attacking, attacking, and attacking, and not realizing the mistakes that you've done. Alright, so they're taking Bukovina, which is good. Now, this is probably stupid. That probably won't work. Let's call Romania to the war. See what happens. And actually, this will free up a few more soldiers, maybe. Uh, let's see. That's actually pretty good. Maybe we can move those two extra divisions somewhere else. But if it doesn't work, I just gave my enemy more territory, which is really bad. But, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see, you guys are actually... Are you guys done? You look pretty healthy to me. You know, if I send them out in the water, though, they're all just going to get blown up. Let's be real. Let's be super real here. They're all just going to go poof and die. I don't want that to happen. Uh, but, you know, we, sometimes you just got to take risks, right? All right, so far not bad. 14... 29, they have 30 ships or so. They do have 10 battleships, but we are trying to get our slow, slow 14 ships into here. Hopefully we'll do okay. Destroyers, don't die. Okay, I, 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 I just said, don't die. Five, oh my god, we're losing all of our destroyers. we got to make more destroyers. I'm, I'm not paying attention to anything else. What's going on? Alright, so the French, the people over here, really want to attack more. Ooh, you have an upgrade, sir? Hmm, infantry attack. I don't really use infantry, but we get max entrenchment. The horses are there to move quickly. They might have to attack, but more max entrenchment might be good. 
And they are guarding the coast right now, so... Yeah, let's do that. Make our soldiers even stronger on the defensive. So we've lost 18 destroyers. God dang it! 18 destroyers. I've lost almost every single... I've lost every destroyer, haven't I? Oh, come on, battleships. At this point, you just gotta blow every single enemy battleship out of the water. Like, please, just nail them hard. Nail... Oh, yeah. Oh, they've lost 10. Oh, we, oh shit, we lost one. Oh, these numbers games. Oh, my gosh. Uh, military factors are nice, but I need another set of these guys. Uh, we're still winning. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not quite so much. Uh, get down here, please. Good. The Italians and the French and the Allies in Italy just keep attacking, just like Luxembourg. And we keep throwing our boys back into the battle. Oh, how, how thick are... Oh, wait, we have 532 army speed? Nice. We have 40 width combat divisions, which is pretty darn good. Those are 20 width. Actually, you know what? We're going to duplicate this, because I'm going to eventually make 40 width divisions. The best soldiers. Save. Since we have so much XP, we might as well do this. Uh, mobile, infantry, infantry, artillery, artillery. And it's 14 4. Just typical standard 14 4 combat with divisions. We're still out of guns. Holy cow. Oh my god. Oh! Shit, they added more, they added more things. Uh, retreat, retreat, please. I knew this was a bad idea. I knew this was a terrible, terrible idea. Oh, so we lost a battleship, 11 destroyers, 6 light cruisers, and a German convoy, while sinking 10 Italian battleships, 4 heavy cruisers, 14 destroyers, and 6 light cruisers. Interesting. Please don't get, please don't engage, for the love of God. Oh, and now they're trying to attack. Yeah, our ships are just not as good as, we don't have, our ships are as good as the enemies, maybe even better to a degree, but we just can't make enough of them. That's really the problem. I need some destroyers, so I'm going to, unfortunately, lower you as well. Yeah, just hold on now, guys. We will eventually take these enemies out. Oh, God, Russia. Germany, please stop attacking. Please. Oh, the Ottomans, oh, no. Oh my god, look at Iraq. Look at Palestine, Israel area, and Jordan. Oh, look at Russia. Oh my god, and Anatolia. Oh. Ottomans, please. For the love of God. They, the Italians, the French, they... What are your manpower like? Why do you keep killing your... Okay, so you only have 150,000 left. You guys have three quarters of a million. You guys have one and a half. The Germans still have five and a half. The Russians have three, which is good for us. And we still have about four and a half. Well, less than four and a half. Which is good. And they're still trying to strike our front. Portuguese people are crazy, but that's okay. Holy cow, this is... a lot of dead guys. That's all I can say. It's just a lot of dead guys. Ooh, early motorized. Very good. Very, very nice. All right. <sighs> so, what did I say I wanted to research? I wanted any new destroyers. Anything for land auction yet? Nope. Hmm, 1915 tech would be nice. We're trying to get logistic companies. 1916 stuff, 1916 stuff, 1915. More breakthrough. Actually, more breakthrough would actually be very, very good. Oh, we only have 30 ships left. We have 15 battleships and five destroyers. Oh, God. Oh, this guy sunk 15 enemy ships. And there have been all Italians and one Portuguese ship. Wow. But... I'm thinking we've gone on a little bit too long. So, with that in mind, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. What have we done? Well, we haven't done very much. Not as much as the last episode, of course. But we did give Bukovina to Romania, hopefully influencing them to join our side of the war. And we've also had some good and not-so-good naval engagements, which has really proven to be quite interesting. And holy crap! We have almost 600 naval experience! But regardless, we are holding out as best we can Oh, this is, this is one hell of a bloody war. So, thank you very much for watching, like I said. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And I, of course, will see you tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for watching.